So that's one thing. But the counter is that uh, the people are suffering. So there are people yeah. who are dying. It's the same kind of... No, no, I, I know. I, I'm just presenting the counter argument. Like, the, this stuff is never clean, right? So what, what they're doing is by choking off the people and messing up Iran's economy and making, essentially, the people suffer. The people are angry. Like, the, the Iranians right now, they were not happy, just overall, with uh, the the collapse of the nuclear deal. So they, they, they're, they're pissed off at the U.S. for the sanctions. The Iranians are. But they're also pissed off at the corruption of their government. And they feel like both of those things go hand in hand. You're saying the, the protest by people uh, is happening in most, a lot of it is happening in the lower parts of the city where the, where the poor people have lost everything. Uh, and, and they're, and they, they, what they, the only thing that they have is their lives. And unlike the 2009, oh, unlike the 2009 protests where the protests were happening in more richer part of the cities, um, because the richer part of the cities, they want freedom, they want human rights. But now a lot of the protests is happening, compared to 2009, a lot of the protests is happening in poorer part of the cities because they have nothing else to lose. If you're a regime, if you're, if you're the government, those are the most dangerous ones because there is nothing that is a bigger threat to you than people who have nothing left to lose. Right. Yes, remember that. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.